internet, it's Crystal. How are you doing today? Um, I am in my meditation space, which is to say I'm in my bed because I most often meditate here in my bed. I don't necessarily think we need to sort of contort ourselves into a variety of yogic positions and sort of stay in that space in order to meditate correctly. I don't really think there is a way to meditate correctly. You kind of just have to find what works for you. And for me, it's laying in my bed and maybe at an incline, just a, a slight incline, so I'm not going to drop off to sleep, but I can get into the hypnagogic state a bit easier. And so I'm about to do that. But um, earlier this morning, I was going through some recordings because I tend to record my dreams after I have them instead of write them down because it's just easier to do that. And I happened upon um, a bit of channeling that I did in 2011, and it was a channeled bit of information about how to me meditate um, more effectively and very dynamically. And it's a it's a method of meditation that also allows for very rapid manifestation. So if you want something to happen in your life ASAP and it's in accordance with source, then you employ this technique and it manifests very quickly. And I remember when it first came through and I shared it with a couple of friends and we were using this technique and yes, indeed, we began to manifest, manifest, manifest very quickly. It was actually kind of startling to me. But I realized as I was listening to this, you know, three-year-old recording or whatever, that um, I have employed this particular technique since then. I use it when I lie down. I, I sort of do this very naturally now. But I thought, well, why am I not talking about this. Why am I not putting it out there? Because it's really effective. It's actually very powerful and it's fairly easy to do. I am a big proponent of like easy meditation, of meditation that's not going to really bum us out and create a negative energy inside of us before we even start the practice. I'm a proponent of easy meditation that allows us to click into that relaxed space that more easily aligns us with source. So this is an easy meditation. When you've got the system going, when you've got the meditative, meditative technique going, I just want to tell you, when you feel that energy, that synergy of this technique, that's when you then insert a visualization of whatever it is you want to draw to you. So if you want to draw a particular condition, person, circumstance, when the technique is in synergy, activated and going, that's when you visualize it and you kind of just put it right in the middle of the meditative technique and it works. It works. The more you do it, uh, the better you get at it and the easier things come to you. I would love to hear from anybody who's using this technique because I've been using it for years. My friends have as well and it works. Okay, so here's how it works. Essentially, it's a three-part thing and I, it's like a three-fold meditation technique. Let's just call it that. That sounds cool. <laughs> so here's what you do. First of all, we're always taking in noise through our earballs, right? And right now I can hear the traffic outside and I can hear the fan going and I can feel the, I can hear the energy of a lot of things. And actually I tend to, I'm clairaudient, which means I'm psychically, I, I hear clearly. So I can hear a lot of things right now and that becomes a sort of a white noise. And I follow the vibration of the noise. I sit with it and I follow it. And then as I've got my eyes closed, I begin to follow the closed eyed patterns that I'm seeing. And for me, it usually looks like kind of a, a, a television screen that's dark, but it's got some pixelation. And sometimes there's swirls that are going on behind my eyelids. And I just follow those swirls. And the third part of it is your actual energy within the body. So as we're sitting here right now, we're actually vibrating at a very specific rate. And, and it's getting in contact with that rate, that energy, and allowing yourself to feel it. Those are the three components. It's the energy of the body, the vibration of the body. It is the energy and the visuals of the closed eyes, what you're seeing at that time, because to me, I can see this little TV screen with the pixelations and it's vibrating at a certain rate. And then it's getting the energy of the, what you're hearing, the tones, the white noise quality, create a stream out of all of the stimuli that you're hearing, create one stream of white noise. And then what you want to do is connect the three of those things. So synchronize or synergize what you're hearing with what you're seeing. You can start with just one. So as you're seeing those closed eyed forms and that pixelation or whatever you see when you close your eyes, link it up to what you're also hearing so that they're connected. I don't know how to explain this. You just have to do it and try it in order to get it. But you just link them up and you synergize them so they're synchronistic. They are vibrating together. And then you bring in the third piece, which is the vibration of the body. And you link that up with the two others. And you just kind of let that flow. Let that synergy happen for a little while as you're meditating so that you really get the link up, that it's strong, it's connected, and it's activated within you. 
What happens for me is that little pixelated TV screen that I see actually pops up with images. That it actually starts producing images that I um, I have to kind of remain neutral toward. I'm observing these images, which is, which are only a result of the threefold synced up state. But I'm observing these images and. Um, this is how spirit begins to talk to me, and this is how I get a lot of my clair clairvoyant information, some of my cha channeled information, and I just stay as connected for as long as possible. And when I've got the whole, I've got the whole synergy going. That's when I insert my visual, whatever it is. I try to plan ahead of time what I might want to visualize and bring about into existence, and then I insert the visual of that into the space of my third eye, which is my pineal gland, and into my awareness, and then I hold the vision, the visual of whatever that is, as I continue to sync and activate and run that energy through the three. The noise, the sound, the vision, which is the closed-eyed vision, and the vibration of the body. It's very easy to do once you get the hang of it, and again, it's very potent. So even if you're not trying to manifest, even if you're not into, like, you know, visualizing something in specific you're just there to have an experience or to be in the space it's very effective for clicking with source energy it really allows you to be in that sort of nothing that glowing throbbing awesome source energy just space which is how we fill up and how we raise our vibration so even if you're not doing it for a reason it's wonderful to do meditatively because it really clicks you into alignment so I just wanted to take a few moments to share that with you because I'm very honest. I'm real. Like, I'm a psychic. I'm an intuitive. I write. I channel. I do all this stuff. But I'm also very skeptical. And I think a lot of the stuff out there in the New Age movement right now is bollocks. For real. And I just, I have a healthy skepticism and so should you. So when I endorse something or I say, hey, this works, it's because in my life, and perhaps that's just anecdotal, but in my life, it works. I've seen the fruit of it, the evidence of it, and I want to pass it on to you because there's more than enough for everybody. There's more than enough experiences for me. There's more than enough experiences for you. I want you to be able to materialize and manifest like that. And I want you to be able to meditate because it's so important. So on that note, I'm going to shut this down, try it, it works, I'm going to go meditate.